Look at this moron. He just came up, he was walking flat along the beach there, see where everyone else is. Just down along the front where everyone else is walking. Oh, this camera is meant to have AI there where the people are. And he just absolutely paced it up here, like really, really quickly. He went really, really quickly, like up here. Because I started walking in a V like this, and that's what I do now, I test them. So what I, do, what I was doing is I was coming down here, right? I was coming down directly for there, but I saw that he had a fluoro shirt on. And I know that when the fluoro sh shirt people are about, that's my gang stalking. And fluoro, I think, seems to... Seems to... Uh, indicate that it's beginning like another round you know how you have like these little rounds of like gang stalking it's so weird you have like these little rounds of gang stalking where it's uh it's like it stops and then it starts again and it goes up again it's so interesting how this happens and um it's like it's just very interesting and I think that uh, you need to be aware of the colours of the gang stalking, you know, because it's always like that. It's like uh, fluoro for me indicates that another round's about to begin, and it's just interesting how much attention he was just paying to me, just on the way. And he only started walking up this way. When I start, like, I was going directly down, and then I tested by going back up. See, like, I walked down, and then I, and look, now he's going to go down. Look at this. Now he's going back down towards the beach. I told you. Look, he just went up, right up here. Why? Because I'm here. Look. See? So funny, man. <clears throat> This running guy will probably be a cop too. Every day here, I'm coming down to clean all the stuff from my dumpster diving. And so, look at him. Look, at, isn't this funny? He's just coming down now. He's coming right down the beach. Now, I've got to try and capture this dude's face. He's, he already is looking away and looking at me. And he already knows. So let's just fucking capture these fucking idiots on camera. Got to make sure. And it's just weird, you know. Okay. Don't know if he was anyone, but what we what we do have is unconscious gang stalking. So amazing that that, that dude in the fluoro just done that on camera. It's perfect. Because he was right down here. Why would he come up just basically in a in a large semicircle and do that? It's so funny, man. Every day I come here, I'm coming to wash my clothes and like shoes that I get from the dumpster diving and, and fruit and vegetables. Here is all my leftover, um, this is from two days ago, my leftover uh, ramalacha or beetroots. So I cut off the tops and bottoms there because they end up going bad in a bag. So you just keep the body of the, of the, um, beetroot and it lasts for you know like a good month so I have and that's so tasty in the fire it's really really good in the fire you just put it in some alfoil or just throw it in and let like a potato it's basically the exact same as a potato you just don't cook it as long anyway oh is the guy there oh let's see if this is him there's a guy that stands up here and he's watching me from the distance Let's go see if this is him. I reckon this is him. This is what it's like every day. Every single day. I get this. I just need to see if this is this guy. Because he's been watching me from up here in the bushes. Right, now he's pretending to do exercises. I don't know if you can see him. Or is it a girl? I can't tell. Oh, that's just some woman. But, you know, it's funny, like, the other day I saw this dude just stand... It's like everybody is really, like, doing the Truman Show on me, for real. It's like, it 
it appears to me that like you are being like community watched like crazy like more than you think and remember there's the unconscious aspect to this it's funny that you started like doing really stupid little exercises you probably can't see it's too far away they're like moving their arms like really um like it's not even doing anything it's not even a proper arm uh like circle you know when you try and loosen your shoulders up i only started when i started walking over it's funny they're over there just two seconds i can't see them from the gym doing weird little exercises actually we should watch because it's just so stupid <coughs> pardon me I don't know if that runner guy was a cop or anything, but there's a lot of people from the community here in Uruguay which are full on Stasis. Look up the word Stasi in in Euro, in uh, European times in you know Hitler times Adolf Hitler in East Germany, where a lot of these by the way a lot of these Germans. Sorry about stuffing up my words. A lot of these Germans, you know, they actually moved here to Uruguay and Argentina. Have you read about that? A lot of the East German Stasi, there was half a million of them at one point. There was said to be half a million um, German Stasi. This is what these gang stalkers do, just weird shit. I'll try and get her on camera now, we're a bit closer, where are we? Just there. like moving moving her her stuff like moving her arms and shit real weird flapping them about it's like nervous attention movements you know the the nervous that's what i call it anyway. nervous attention movements because they like get your attention they're not genuine right they're like being fake you know i'm going over here that little spot is where i'm i'm seeing this older guy with a cap which I saw go up into the dunes up here, looking to see where my tent was. So, and, and I've seen him before. I think he's either like just a super concerned community member or a, a proper private eye or policeman. And then I get, you know, the bulkhead, the fat head policeman run past and do jogging. There's a bald head one that um, I've confirmed now because about a year and a half ago I made videos extreme gang stalking caught, caught on camera there was a bald guy that runs right near me when they pass really close to you it's very interesting because they're trying to ID you they're trying to ID is it him is it him for some reason they need to know where I am all day every day <coughs> what's spectacular about right now talking no planes I'm very 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 interested there's no planes today because every single day they're going nuts with the planes but they can't see they can't see my tarp because it's completely covered in in sticks anyway for me fluoro is an indicator that uh, my, my gang stalking like is starting so there'll be people now coming up and down the beach who will just be, sorry about the uh, zoom There'll be people coming up and down. The, I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm saying a bit more to get a message across. Because <clears throat> I've really been paying close attention to this gang stalking. And once the fluoro comes, it's just interesting. I'll walk out onto the beach and there'll be fluoro. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I, I get it. Some people wear fluoro to, like, feel uh, uh, like uh, a higher energy or whatever. You know, like you like put on good clothes to, like, feel good kind of thing. <coughs> But, you know, that doesn't matter. That, that can all just be, you know, working for pride, Lucifer. This is what you have to connect in gang stalking. These ego mind devils, the seven devils I talk about all the time now. Binfield's classification of demons. That's how I found it. I typed into Google demons, like to see what other people reckon about demons and, and how they classify demons. And Binfield's classification came up of the, the seven mind devils. Lucifer is pride. And, and Asmodeus the king, you know, lust is behind all of them. <coughs> Pardon me. I've definitely got corona today. 
Um, I tell you what, I, my corona doesn't last long because I go swimming every day, but I catch it every fucking morning from the dumpster diving because you guys don't donate enough. If you donated a bit more, I wouldn't have to do that. <clears throat> I just start getting these sussos, like I think this guy even. You can just tell, like I just turned the camera on him, why does he look down and away and stuff? It's so weird. And this dude here is just here fishing every fucking day. There's no way, right? There's no way that you're that into fishing. And why is this fat bitch staring at me? It's because they come down here to watch me wash. And it's so like, they feel like you're under control. Look at this dude walking like a fucking sister. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start capturing these weirdos, man. Because I told you, gang stalking brings... Uh, psychos, fags, bitches, and weirdos, and that's not being derogatory, you know? That's what they, that's what they always end up bringing. It's, it's always these fucking weirdos, and why they pay attention to you so much is so interesting, you know? Like, um... So I just want to get them on camera so that next time I see them, I know if they're like patrolling for me. Today is a very quiet day and it's Monday. You know, it's, it's interesting that it's a Monday. But what's happening now is this patrols. Like you've got to remember the hive mind. These devils just work through people. It might just say, you know, go for a walk. Like just to get your body fit. But the timing is so that it'll interact with you, the Truman, right? That's what you've got to understand. And you've got to notice their ears dropping and when they, like he just referenced, I could see that he just referenced where he's at, <clears throat> like what pathway they see me at on the beach. I've been watching people's body language very, very closely. And this is what, and look, now I'm just, Turn back towards me. Oh yeah, I'm just walking, stretching my shoes. I've got shoes, long pants, and a jumper on. Stretching like a you know, Look, oh that's awesome. Just remember the lady that's there now on her bike that was just standing up there doing these weird stretches. Look at this guy now doing weird stretches as well. This is gang stalking, guys. Fuck, I'm lucky to capture this on camera. I'm so lucky to capture. Look at him doing weird shit. Oh, I'm stretching my arm. I'm just out here stretching my arm, except I'm walking in long pants, shoes. Look at him. You can't see him properly. I can see him. Weird shit, he's stretching his arms. Look at this shit. I'm just so stoked that I can capture this because I thought today would be a weekday. I knew it would be like this. Like, probably no planes, maybe. Because they've been going so hard. They've been going so hard. Look at him just walking on, stretching like a weirdo. Right and right near where the lady was just doing it all weird, like twisting her arms and what? Are, what is he doing? And now he's going to stop. This is so funny, man. Fuck! I'm glad we captured that on camera. Do you see what he's doing? Just the weirdest arm stretches. But if you come down here to relax, why would you be wearing shoes and long pants and a jumper? And he's obviously got a shirt under the jumper. It's hot. It's the middle of the day. It's hot. I'm here with, look, nothing. I'm here with no shirt, <clears throat> no shirt and just in pants. Don't you find that interesting that he was stretching like an absolute weirdo when gang stalking brings you this weird nervous behavior, this attention, and I was just talking about it. I said this nervous attention behavior. 
Why did he do that just here, right when he knew I was filming? His ears dropping and looking at me, knew I was filming, and then he does this weird stretching. He's not doing it now. He's playing with his pants, just pulling his pants up a bit, about to cross the river. Nothing. He's walking normally again. See how they do that in front of you? This is part of gang stalking. This, I call it weird, well, I call it, um, what do I say again? <clears throat> Nervous attention seeking kind of behavior. They're trying to get your like attention. This is gang stalking. It only happens when I'm relaxed. It'd be funny if he circled back now and came back past, which I think he might be doing. Hold on. No, he's gonna cross the river. Anyway, isn't that amazing that he just done that there? Right when the lady was up there looking. You see, I'm just always in view. The Truman, or the spirit human, of this alien uh, Truman show, <clears throat> always is being watched there's always a node one node one organic portal of the hive mind because it's the hive which is the ego ethereum platform connection as well the mind devils come through the hive and that's part of the hive uh, platform the ego ethereum platform that i discuss on this channel but you're always in view that's the point, you're always in view of one node of one of these weirdo gang stalkers who come past and are just doing weird stuff, staring at you, like or like trying to give you guilt, guilt looks like you're doing something wrong or maybe you don't look how they want you to look. You know, just stuff like that, the weird, you guys all know that. I don't need to explain it to anybody who's not gang stalked. You shouldn't even be on this channel because you are an organic portal. Um, but yeah, you're always in one node. Have you, have you noticed that? You always have to the other Trumans out there and, and women. Mostly it's going to be guys who are gang stalked properly, but the spirit women as well. <clears throat> have you noticed that like there's just always someone patrolling past me here? It's amazing. Look how big an open beach it is. And just this weird interaction behavior. Why was he doing that right when the lady was doing the exact same thing, the weird stretching? This for me is just every day this weird stuff. I'm just glad I could catch that little little bit there. The next thing I would expect in my gang stalking now here is like a policeman or two to walk past, like undercover, a woman or a man. I know I even know some of them because they do it so it's been like two years now two and a half years you know what I mean on this beach that I've been here the camping the camping ground I was staying at is just over there it's not that far away I'm just now down on the beach camping for free but the next thing I'll expect is just more patrolling here come more people just at the perfect time to be seen it's like you're always in connection that's, I call it hive mind referencing. The hive mind, not only they look at each other, have you noticed how they look at each other? Notice how they all look at each other. They're referencing. Energy is information. Even, even on the microwave length, they're communicating. Our cells have been proven to communicate throughout the electromagnetic spectrum and very, very surely, very... Uh, very researched, very well endowed research shows, you know, and it's very common, is what I'm trying to say. Very obvious, very common, well established, epistemologically established that our cells, human body cells, communicate through microwave. And when they're looking at each other, <clears throat> and then they're looking at you as well, they're transferring energy between each other, but then when they're looking at you, they are, they are the directed energy weapon. Do you get it? Microwave energy is not necessarily coming from someone with a little ray gun in the building next door or the apartment next door. It's the organic portal's positive charge. That is the, the pain you're feeling. They're not sitting there with a little device all day long pointing a microwave energy weapon at you. Sure, they can make them. I'm sure they probably exist. No doubt, somewhere. But not mass production around the world for gang stalking. It's them. It's the 
the, the, it's the people's energy. It's their bad energy. It's positive charge. And all these fat people and shit, they're always part of it by default. They're, they're part of it by default. Because like I said, the parasites in par realm parasiticos here, they're all part of your gang stalking. 90% of people with their fucking fat bellies, that they're just innately gang stalking you. They're in fear and in pain. Their body is full of pain. That's what the fat is. It's, it's pain. And you can see it on their skin and they look like shit. They eat crap. Right? And they don't, they don't seem to be like us. Like all the spirit humans I've ever met, not one of them is fat. Never met a spirit human. Soul humans, yeah. But the 1%, the, the higher spirit humans, spirit walkers, we're always uh, really well fit. Every single one I can think of. And you know, Jesus apparently said something about body dynamics, I got told recently as well. And I have to say he's correct, because these people, man, they pay too much attention to you. And as soon as I eat sugar, it happens to me. As soon as I eat sugar, I've said this before, the bacterial colonies that form from eating sugar communicate with other people's bodies and fat in their bodies, which have sugar parasites in them, and then those bacterial colonies are communicating. And that's just the perfect, the perfect, uh, the perfect wave for information of hive mind communication to travel upon. Alright, I'm going to end it there because that was really, really some good speech at spieling at the end there. Hope you learned something.